What is going on, everyone? Commodore Laz here today, bringing to you my live reaction of One Piece manga chapter 946. Now, the chapter has just come out. It has been a long, long evening. And it's just a long, you know, two weeks without a chapter of One Piece. So we're here today to finally change those things around, finally get to read the greatness, and hopefully get to see what should be a prison break go down. You know, we're seeing Big Mom uh, come in, lay the smack down on Queen. Uh, basically, Big Mom was just, you know, Bobo going up against, you know, Jackson Hayes, which was, you know, Queen. So, you know, a little preview of what we might see in the NBA later on this uh, year. But, really curious to see what's going to go down. Because we know for a fact we're probably going to get the end of the prison break. We know that uh, Supernovas are going in right now. Uh, with Law and Hawkins, Drake and Sanji, Soro and Kyoshiro is going in as well. So, there's a lot of events that are going on right now at the moment. And I think we're probably going to stick with the prison break hopefully here. But, for me to find out, I've got to read the chapter. So, without further ado, let's get into it guys. One Piece manga chapter 946. It feels so good, man. Finally to have this back in my life, you know. Like, when you go, like, a week without One Piece, man, it's just so difficult, honestly. Just, you know, to push forward. So, that, that, I need to read it, man. And, the, oh, real quick, before I even get into the chapter as, uh, as well. Uh, just to let you guys know, from now on going forward, I'm going to be posting my reviews, discussions, theories in regards to One Piece over on Rowan or Laz. Uh, it's basically my second channel that I'm going to be doing, you know, for that kind of stuff that's not like live reactions, more like me kind of just talking about, you know, the things I want to talk about uh, more in depth instead of, you know, just kind of like, you know, doing reactions and stuff. So if you haven't subscribed, of course, to Rowan or Laz, uh, that's somewhere on the front page, you'll see like on the squad side, you'll see the name right there. If not, down in the description below. So just want to let you guys know if you want to, you know, where the review and stuff is for afterwards, uh, for later videos and stuff, that's going to be over there. So with that being said, let's jump into the chapter. All right. One Piece, chapter 946, titled Queen versus Olin. So, yo, hold on, bro. So you're telling me Bobo dunked on Jackson Hayes. But Jackson Hayes is like, hell no. Nah. What you mean, bro? You got upside? I'm a top 10 pick. Nah, Queen. And it's Queen versus Olin. Not Olin versus Queen. <sighs> Let's get it, man. Let's see. Kinemon over here. Oh. Dude. I really like this cover page right here. You see Kinemon and Suru. Walking around together, and I assume there's little foxes and a little panda raccoon dog thing over here, a little fire and stuff, you know, kind of for the Firefox. And that, yeah, that's you know, that's actually dope. Get cover page request: Kinemon and Osuru on a date at night on a, on a, on the street with a fox guiding them along with his fox fire. Yo, my, my man, Kini, my, hey, listen, yo, this is a really dope cover page. I don't know if I get this in the manga, like actually, like. In a panel and stuff, you don't get to see it, but this is some really beautiful stuff over here, man. She looks all happy. My man looks happy, too. And the raccoon dog over there with the hat, you know, he, he looks happy. <laughs> the Firefox is a little over here just chilling, man. He's just, you know, he's just doing, like, a little dance and everything, too. Oh, man. I really do love this cover page right here, man. But, yo, you gotta move forward. Otherwise, I'm gonna be gushing over it, so. <sighs> page two. Page three. Here we go. Let me zoom in actually a little bit more because my eyesight you know, dies out in the nighttime. Master Queen, two giants are dueling it out. Oh, Soroku! You see like the like the hits on little foot. Olin! <laughs> Chopper and Kiko are like freaking out. Who is that old woman? She isn't just any old woman. Big Mom, she's going for a suplex. Hold on! Huh? What? Who do you think you're dealing with, you old? doing the cesaro bro yo you know the, the, the swing that um the guy from wwe bro he just comes in just starts swinging people around like this bro spitting him and stuff yo big mom is out here give me the old shiroku you damn lizard bro she doesn't care man how about this guy's well-being bro she has this she has him right here and <laughs> she has it locked up and just swinging around man look man cesaro was a one piece stand right now. I think he'd be proud of, the, of what he's seen from Big Mom. And you see the Beast Pirates are just all freaking out, like, wow! And he's just getting smacked around, man. The difference between a Yonko and a Yonko commander is being showcased right over here, man. So, shout out to Bull Bull. She's going in, man. <laughs> Let's go. Holy crap, Big Mom. Look, bro, look at her face. 
What? The Gramps? What? And she just lost. Yeah, Queen's down for the count. I don't think Queen is getting up. You see, like, all the other the Beast Pirate guys running away, like, in fear. And some of them probably got hit in the, in the, um, from the impact and stuff. And you just see right there, bro, Queen looks like he's out. Big Mom just doing, doing, like, a whole, like, big show performance right now. Just tossing bodies around. Wait, she shook Udon prison? Udon is screwed. Hey, yo, <laughs> you see Kid afterwards and that killer... Coming right out afterwards from the, you know, the uh, little cauldron thing that they're being trapped under. Yeah. And you see Killer Fafa. Ah, I'm glad they made it out. Hey, are you guys still alive? Master Queen. Master Queen, get a hold of yourself. Whoa, the man worth 1.3 billion was taken out in two hits. I mean, it's a Yonko, man, for crying out loud. Like, when you compare the difference between somebody who's like, you know, an NBA all-star against somebody who, you know, he's a great player, but never going to be on that level. That's the difference right there, man. Literally, it's if you're watching, like, Kevin Durant going up against, like, you know, a, Ro a Romeo Langford or something, man. Like, that's kind of what it was like right there. I, sh I should be as expected. And he's shrinking, too, which, you know, he's going back to his human form for sure. She's on a totally different level. She really is Big Mom. Send a report to Kaido immediately. Look. You send a report to Kaido, like, he's going to think of the first thing in his mind. Child support papers, and he going to book it out of here. I promise you that. Uh, unless he's confident enough he can go after, you know, his former team, then it uh, might be a different case. Hey, by the way, that cell over there. Ah, the one that's never been... Oh, Kawamatsu cell! The one that's never been opened before. It's been destroyed. I don't know what was locked inside it, but that thing should still be in chains. Looking at the cell now... I bet it died before it could escape. Old man, can we shoot at her? Don't provoke her, Daifugo. What are Kaido's orders? Well, about that, Warden. The snail, it's not working. It seems that nobody can contact Onikashima right now. You know, that's actually really good for them too because if they make the prison break right afterwards, the information about Luffy and them, you know, escaping is not going to go to Kaido, which is going to benefit them in the long run through this whole prison break. Big Mom, unacknowledgedly right now, is helping out the Alliance. Even though it's not like, you know, she's doing out of her own free will. She's in her, you know, her state of affair and stuff that she's in right now. But this kind of helps them out right now when it comes to the prison break. And Old Maid is not happy about it whatsoever. Like, what? What on prisoner in mind? Inside the executive tower. Ning, ning, ning. Okay, so going back to uh, Rizo and stuff. Our plan has gone smoothly due to the commotion outside. Whatever that commotion might be. Caribou is quite the useful asset. Our enemies are troublesome because they are able to transmit information freely. Listen closely. The Wano country smarts pond snail. Its, short, its greatest shortcoming is its weak signal. The pond snails must first transmit their signals to a boss pond snail. There is only one boss pond snail in each region. So the boss pond snail must send the signal to the next snail to continue the chain. So... It's like, it's almost like, you know, like when you're playing with, like, you know, little cans and stuff of, like, you know, on phones. We're trying to connect to one thing to another, you know, trying to pass off the message. That's essentially what this pretty much is. And that's a pretty dope design right here. Because it has, like, you know, like the um, the back of the shell and stuff is, like, similar to the uh, old Japanese, like, buildings. In other words, if we find the boss pond snail that is in Udon and smother it, what do you think will happen? Does it mean that all of Udon's communications will be cut off? You got it. You see, I've been here for a while now, so I know where the boss pond snail is. So let me handle it. You focus on stealing all the other keys, Rizal Chan. Hey, what's the matter? Who did this to you? Hello? This is Tower B... Uh, hello? Hmm? Why isn't the snail wo snail working? Hold on a little longer, Kawamatsu. I will definitely free you. I think he just says that, but I, I, that cell for sure is Kawamatsu's like got broken. So they're all doing this for like almost for nothing, but... It makes me wonder too, like, you know, if they end up getting another key for something else, it might be towards the Yakuza or somebody else, since it's going by that pattern now. I thought... Bro, to everyone who was telling me there was no Oshiroka, bro, she got it. She found the plot. I found it! The Oshiroka. She found the plot! She's like freaking out. 
What a rich, sweet fragrance. This is so much. I'm so glad we came all this way. What should we do? That pot is it. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, you're all gonna die. <laughs> you're all gonna die. You see that face she's making right now? That's gonna turn into crossbones as she's like eating you alive. What should we do? That pot is empty. What will she do once she realizes who will she do, <laughs> direct her anger towards? She may just kill all of us. That's certainly a possibility. <laughs> she goes open. <laughs> Everyone's looking. She sees. Wait. Oh, you know, it is empty. Because I'm thinking, like, what the hell? Yeah, sound effect, empty. Oh, for, oh, sh <laughs> yeah, they're, they're dead. <laughs> Yo, run. Bro, the minute you see her with the pot and you knowingly know that there's no food stored inside that thing, you run. Y'all done for, man. Evacuate, everyone! It's every man for themselves. An unpredictable calamity has descended upon us. I get why you're sad. I'd like to see more of that again, too. <laughs> man, the Oshiroku was delicious. Hey, hey, Straw Hat Man. Hmm? Hold on. Oh. So you... Hmm. Were the culprit. Don't tell me we're gonna get Luffy versus Big Mom right here, though. Why is everyone staring at me? Well, you just... You may... <laughs> Get direct the, the anger right towards Luffy. Sir Luffy Taro, we finally found him, but as always, he's right in the middle of trouble. The Oshiroku was, and you see Queen just still, you know, out of commission. What? Did I say that out loud? I thought I was just thinking about how delicious it was. You said it again. Are you okay in the head? <laughs> and then sick in the head, bro. This, yo, Luffy different, bro. Big Mom now, yo, this, she's about to go ape. Full ape on Luffy. I, I, as she should, but at the same time, man, I don't know. Kid and Killer are also like out of the thing too. And then Kalamatsu is going to be out of the cage. So I, maybe they're going to help her out. Uh, help him out afterwards, you know, trying to get away from Big Mom. And she goes in, striking at Luffy. Luffy dodging through. And Hyogoro just doing like, you know, a little side jump and stuff. Wait, Big Mom, if we fall from here, we'll die. Razor blades will come out of our collars and chop our heads off. As I said before, who the hell is Big Mom and you, Oshiroko Thief? Who the hell are you? So her amnesia kicking in right now. Huh? Oh, that's right. I'm dressed as a samurai, so she doesn't recognize me. Well, again, she's in like her state of like, you know, amnesia and stuff. So she obviously doesn't realize, you know, right in front of her is the guy that was calling her out back in Fishman Island. And, you know, pretty much, you know, made a mockery of her and stuff going back to the whole kick island. This is bad. Real bad. Beep, beep. Wait a second. It just beeped. What a conundrum. If she strikes again, we will die. We cannot move a single step backwards. Big Mom, we'll give you their heads if you let us live. Shut up! <laughs> she just throws like a boulder straight at him. Probably just killing like a good chunk of those guys. Those town people forced... Uh, treat, those townspeople treated me so nicely. Even when they were poor. So I wanted to bring back a lot of Oshiroku to share with them. It suits you, Olin. <laughs> Chopper is just like yo come on like huh I wanted to share with everyone she's still so kind why did you why did you eat it why did you eat it all you brat stop it be, be, wait Gramps huh so this is where I die there's no way out of this one no not my man Tegoru nah there's no way man Luffy just go full hockey man go King's Hockey right now and just break the chain Damn it. I won't let you die, I promise. Come off. And Luffy going with the Bushoku Haki. He's gonna break it. Come off already. Breaks the thing. Good man. Saves my man. Hyogoro saved. Qua? What? Huh? I took the collar off, Gramps. What did I just do? Either way, I did it. So he doesn't realize he, you know, using the Bushoku Haki, he was able to get through the, um, to be able to break it. What a surprise. That was... You dodged it again. Okay, let's get out of here, Gramps. Straw Hat Man. The thing, that, thing, that thing you just did. Before you forget it, I need you to protect me. What do you mean? We need escape. Only when backed into a corner will one's true power bloom. Are you an idiot? You want me to train now? 
If I mess up, you'll know you know you'll die, right? I am well aware. Come at me, Emperor. Overcome the wall, overcome Big Mom. I mean, I don't I I highly doubt we're gonna see, you know, Luffy defeat Big Mom. As this again, this is gonna be more of a training session, but I think your girl realizes something that with Luffy doing that to the chain um to the collar and stuff with the Bushoku hockey, because I'm pretty sure that thing was made of sea stone. In case I can recall. So it makes it even more interesting right now because if it is made of sea stone, then by him doing that might be like a new level thing where, you know, of course with devil fruits, they can't be able to interact with sea stone. So maybe it has something to do, you know, with the Bushoku hockey that you can try and bypass that. And if so, that's pretty good. But now how, how exactly like, because Luffy's going to have to go out right now with Big Mom. Obviously, we know that it's not going to lead to a victory in this fight. This is more, again, to train Luffy. But, is, hey, look, man. Is, is Bushoku hockey progression is going to go up after this little sparring session? And the cage broke down, too. We didn't even know who the hell was inside of it. Was, which, I do think, though, it has to be Kawamatsu's cell that broke. At the very least. Because, you know, they were teasing it around and stuff in the chapter. So, it might have to be him. It makes you think that with we'll um with Rizal, you know, going at the keys and stuff, it might lead to, you know, them freeing somebody else. You know, maybe the other Yakuza guys, or maybe there's another hidden person we don't know about that's probably hidden in there somewhere. But yeah, I think this was a good chapter this week. I wanna say maybe around the seven and a half out of ten this week. I mean, Big Mom coming in in two hits, okay? She got the giant swing in and a choke slam off the top rope and to the outside, nailing Queen. Luffy's got his Bushoku hockey thing going on. Rizo and uh, Caribou coming in trying to, you know, take off the transmissions. There's no way to get in contact right now with Kaido. So the prison break should, you know, go through very, very soon. And maybe after this, you know, whole little training session, we get to see with Big Mom and stuff. Maybe we'll get to see that uh, kind of happen. But yeah, good chapter. I'm probably going to save the rest of that for the review afterwards. And, you know, talk about this more in depth. It might be shorter or not. But again... Uh, that's going to be taken care of on Rowan or Lab, so make sure to go and check that out. I'll probably upload it on here again, but, you know, mainly on Rowan or Lab, so you guys can see for yourself. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below regards to this week's chapter One Piece. Uh, if there's anything in the chapter that I didn't talk about or didn't, you know, get too much notice on that you guys want to talk about down in the comments, let me know down there. And, you know, let me know if it's important or not. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be a part of the weekly experience when it comes to the channel and stuff in terms of, you know, my One Piece reactions, reviews, discussions, all that kind of stuff, links down in the description below. Make sure to click on the bell, Shandora. So that way you guys stay up to date with, you know, all the uploads in regards to the channel. And especially when it comes to One Piece on here. And that being said, Chapter 947, I'm expecting, you know, see more progression with Luffy and his Bushoku Haki. And maybe we finally get to see the reveal of Kawamatsu and see, you know, what, you know, the whole Kappa design thing going on and stuff. So, till next time, I'll catch you guys in the review afterwards and I'll catch you guys a week afterwards from 947. So, Commodore Lab signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care.